scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. We will raise your banner high. We will shine your light so bright. For who is this King of glory, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle, Amen. Who is this King of glory, the Lord, the Lord mighty in battle, Amen, amen. Amen, 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 amen. You're prophesying over your life tonight. Amen to the healings. Amen to the miracles. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. Amen. To my new season. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Father, give me an encounter tonight. Please lift your voice and pray. Give me an encounter by your spirit. Shaleba Ratoska Brandeke Balakatoshka Pregeti Balasu Beheskia. Give me an encounter even by your spirit. An encounter that will turn my life around. Following online, pray. All the overflows, pray. The King of Glory is in this place. The healer, the lifter, the way maker. Restorer. Few more seconds. Bless his name and express your expectation. I have come. Shabarako Saprande Gebalako Shadekate Balakata Vrende Gebalanyata. They looked unto him and their faces were lightened. For in Jesus' name we pray. For in Jesus' name we pray. Father, do wonders in our midst tonight. And let Jesus be glorified. 
we have come full of expectations we pray that none of us will return back the same way in jesus name we pray welcome to our miracle service for the month of august may god bless you in jesus name please be seated please help those under the anointing i want to welcome everyone this is koinonia your life will never be the same believe it it's true your life will never be the same and for those who are coming here for the first time welcome you will not need to tell people you came here what will follow you when you leave will be a testament that you met the king of kings and the lord of lords in the name of jesus christ let me appreciate everyone we have in our midst um very wonderful man of god and his dear wife we're really honored having both of them together apostle goodheart and his dear wife pastor bimbo god bless you sir god bless you ma we truly appreciate you hallelujah for everyone who has come you're a man of god here you're welcome all our international guests may god bless you in the name of jesus christ i have an assignment today to make sure you do not go back the way you came in the name of jesus christ i have an assignment that that sickness will not go back with you that challenge will not go back with you and for the door that has refused to open we are breaking it not opening it we will break that door in the name of jesus christ so that you and your children and your children's children will pass this is the assignment of the power of god to insist that your life looks like what the word has said are we together listen carefully if the word of god has not gone forth the power of god does not have an assignment the assignment of the power of god is to bring authenticity and validation experientially to the word of god that means the power of god depends on what god is saying to walk are we together now if god says be healed then you can be sure every sickness is in trouble because the power of god now is released towards that direction if god says be lifted then the power of god god's power cannot do what god does not say as powerful as the power of god is it depends on what god has said and it moves towards the direction of his word so for you to know where god's power is you have to find out where his word is are we together the bible says in habakkuk chapter 3 it says there is the hiding place of his power if god says prosper then his power comes your direction if he says prosper then the word of god insists that all that needs to be in place the power of god will on legal and legitimate grounds make sure you do not remain there that means for every word and every declaration you are going to be hearing whether it comes as a prophetic word or it comes as the teaching of the word listen carefully what you should know is that it is not just sound that is coming to you every time the word of god comes know that the power of god is behind it coming too so for instance if i say tonight is your last night in this in this realm of captivity that word now may be an ordinary word if spoken by a man unassisted by the word that is just empty talk but if that talk is backed up by the word of god then you can be sure that behind that speaking there is the power of god hallelujah may god bless you acts chapter 4 and verse 33 two scriptures and we get to the business of the night and with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the lord jesus christ and great grace was upon them all he says with great power the apostles did not just come to announce the resurrection of jesus 
with empty talk it takes power to bear witness to the fact that jesus is alive are we together now yes remember when jesus rose up from the dead there were all kinds of contentions to stop that news the validity of it from being accepted people use money people use relationships they use connections to bury that truth that he rose again so when you come to announce that jesus is alive the implication is that everything that he died for has gone for good are we together now being alive means he had defeated sin satan hell and the grave and that he rose again triumphantly but if you announce and say he's alive just as a mere discussion it does not bring any profit to the listeners the bible says with great power it takes great power to announce and to validate that jesus is alive because if you say he's alive the sickness in someone's body is saying it's not true i am not yet sure that healing becomes the validation that he's alive are we together now that open door you have heard me say it many times that the devil uses infirmities he uses negative situations on men as a canvas to indict the integrity of God so when an individual comes with sickness comes with you know retrogression and all kinds of things it is more than just conditions there are statements that the devil is making through that man to God that you are unable to lift you are unable to bless you are unable to open doors when god heals when he delivers when he opens doors like he's already doing it is more than a miracle it is a reply from god to satan through man i am still alive so for every miracle you will experience tonight and every testimony you are going to have it's important for you to know that more than the material expression of it god is using your life to send a very strong message that I'm still seated on the throne. If you believe that, say amen. Yeah. Mm. With great power, the apostles gave witness of the resurrection. So for instance, if a woman came here who has been trusting God for the fruit of the womb and everything that has been done has defied any medical attention and God gives you triplets, there are more than three children. It's a testament. I can restore time. I can restore the years. Are we together now? May that be your testimony. Yeah. Acts chapter 19. Acts chapter 19. We'll read from verse 11 and 12. Acts chapter 19. The Bible says, And God wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul. Verse 12. Then we'll go back to 11. So that from his body were brought unto the sick, handkerchiefs or aprons, and the diseases departed from them, and the evil spirits went out of them. Back to 11. The first thing we need to understand here is that God is able to wrought all kinds of miracles, even special miracles. The miracles are categorized in different, uh, you know, different categories even the bible acknowledges that there are a kind of spectacular spiritual occurrences called special miracles and that is the same god that means there is no situation that should dampen your faith and make you feel god cannot do this one god can do this are we together every miracle is already a wonder but there are special miracles but the Bible says that he did this by the hands of Paul. When I meditated upon this scripture, my mind went to the hands of Paul. Watch this. It was God that wrought the miracles, but he needed the hands of a man. God wrought special miracles by the hand of Paul. The Bible says, and by a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. Who brought them? The Lord. But he needed that human vessel. God wrought special miracles by the hand of Paul. These are all the factors that need to be in place for genuine miracles to happen. Number one, the God of the heavens, who is the one who gives the miracle, has to be there. Number two, the vessel 
and he must be yielded enough to allow God move through him as he wills that means if certain miracles are limited and they do not happen it's not a reflection of God's look up please it's not a reflection of God's inability are we together now the Bible already tells us that this God is able to wrought all kinds of miracles, including special miracles. That means if that dimension of special miracles does not reach the saints, it is not, the problem is not from God's angle. It is a problem with the kind of hands that were used. That means it is not only God who should prepare for miracle service. The vessel that you will use also, you must enlarge capacity to be able to host everything God is releasing. Are we together now? God wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul. The Bible says, so that verse 12 now, from his body were taking handkerchiefs. Please give it to us again, media. From his body were brought unto the sick handkerchiefs or aprons. Now, watch what the Bible calls special miracles. Hmm. Number one, the diseases departed. Do you know what a disease is? A disease is not sickness. It's anything that brings a structural deformation to your life. First, your body, any kind of deformation, everything that breaks the pattern, the sequence of how things should be. First in your body and then your life is called a disease. Poverty is a disease. Are we together now? Yes. All kinds of failure come under the, that, that word disease. The Bible says the diseases departed. It is a special miracle when with surgical precision, the Lord separates you from that which inconveniences your life. He says the diseases departed from them. Number two, the evil spirits went out of them. The conditions that the Bible calls diseases departed from them. That means true deliverance is not just the exiting of spirits. It is also the exiting of conditions. Spirits can leave, but if the conditions remain, you are not at ease. You are not at liberty. Conditions can leave. Not only spirits. Are we together now? Look at the testimony of the gentleman, the pastor. Very, very humbling. Eight years as a legal practitioner, staying under an uncompleted, ah, the power of God, ba. I pray tonight that your faith will come alive. God, God, listen, ladies and gentlemen, God is too serious to gather you together and waste your time. No, not the God of the Bible. One word released by the power of God collides with your destiny and things begin to shift. I can tell you by the privilege of God's grace and with all humility that this God who works miracles in, is in our midst. And by the privilege of God's grace, the hands that he will use are, is also here. In the name of Jesus Christ. And the faith that connects that God and the hands is also here. That means all things are ready. All things are ready. I'm prophesying to you again. Inside, outside, all things are ready. In the mighty name of Jesus, all things are ready. I believe in miracles. Ah, I do. I really believe in miracles. I believe that God can change a man's story. I believe that God can wipe the tears of a family. Hear me. I believe that someone can come for a service and sit like this. And while you are here, God is not only here, but he's where you are going to be after here. Correcting and arranging things for you. That's what it means to be a way maker. I believe. I really mean what I'm saying. This is not just some man of God preaching. I truly believe it. That God is able to bring people into prepared blessings. Prepared blessings means that he makes a table. And I'm speaking this by the spirit of God. Prepared blessings. Listen, there are times where God can empower your farm for your crops to grow. But there are times he can send bread from heaven because of the urgency of what is needed. All those miracles is still the hand of God. I believe God can correct body parts. I believe he can give me ones. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
Yes, sir. I believe God can open the book of remembrance. Is it not in your Bible that there is such a book? He said, bring me the chronicles. And he said, ah, this guy did this. Many of you have been part of the lives of many people. And yet you have, you have it is human to forget. But when God is ready to lift you, was it not what happened to the wine presser? He said, I remember my wrong this day. I forgot somebody who was not supposed to be in the prison. Like you are here now and God is reminding someone. Remember, I said by January and God is reminding them. How about someone who is missing returning home? Read your Bible. Donkeys return home. Talk of human beings. Donkeys. God is that meticulous to return a donkey. Talk less a human being. If God can return donkeys, he can return money that is missing. He can return things that have left. I believe in miracles. Hmm. I believe in miracles. I believe in the supernatural. I believe it. When it defies science, when it defies time, it is the doing of God. Hallelujah. And I believe in impartation. Let me tell you what impartation is. Impartation is a transference of spiritual possibilities. We are made among many things by the kind and the quality of the graces that reside upon us. It's true. Your possibilities are defined by the kind of grace that is upon you. That means if there are certain things that don't seem to happen, it does not mean they cannot happen. It means the grace that commands them is not yet there. You can know what is on you by what is around you. Thou anointest my head with oil, but I know it by the overflowing of my cup. It means if my cup is empty, it does not mean all cups are empty. It is just my own that is empty. Challenges are not generic. They depend on what grace is at work in your life. Because for some of you, this is what you really need. You love God sincerely, but there are certain possibilities that you are unable to command because there is, there is a kind of anointing and there is a kind of grace that needs to come upon you. They saw Saul and said, is Saul also one of the prophets? And for some of you, you came here to meet Jesus, to be saved. Because you see, no matter what else you get, if it is minus Jesus, you are already holding a loss in your hand. It does not matter what it is. Minus Jesus, it is a loss. And for some of you, God brought you here. You are not really his focus for now. It is that spirit that is behind what you are doing. Are we together? That spirit that will not let you rest, not let you rise, no increase, everything going down. The God that we serve is a mighty God. Are we together now? Let me assure you by the grace of God that every spirit that is masquerading behind your pain and every problem, I stand by the God of heaven who called me and I declare it must give up on you finally. It must give up on you finally. It must give up on you finally. Tying down your children tying down your progress it works for others until it gets to your turn listen when it's time to pray don't be quiet are we together you didn't come to watch a movie you came to provoke some things to get out of your life they remain to the degree to which you permit them there is a way you can be angry at certain situations and say lord thank you for the grace to clap for others but tonight I have made up my mind tonight it has to be my night tonight is also a night where whoever has been sitting on what belongs to you mashali kasko prakato zatia pakada embregete kalakusiata hear me was a man not sitting on a seat that belonged to mordecai he sat for a long time it was not her man's destiny the real person who was the owner was sitting at the gate and, a, and someone who was there mismanaging that position. Tonight, God will overturn and overturn and overturn and overturn. I prophesy to you, he will overturn. Hallelujah. 
the Bible says while men slept the enemy came many of you have seen harvests in your life you cannot remember who sowed the seed the Bible says you were not the only farmer there were things you sowed and so eh, the devil came as a farmer too and added some things you sowed peace and love but you are seeing a harvest of trouble and you are saying no 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 this does not match ah he said when a thief is caught he is made to restore tenfold in the name of Jesus help those under the anointing listen I came here full of the spirit I came here angry in my spirit because it, it is someone season by the power that raised Christ from the dead who told you God does not lift who told you God cannot lift a man it doesn't matter what family you are coming from forget about the talk of arrogant men when God points his hand at you he can shift anything and lift you yes sir yes sir and any man who by mistake has said over his dead body this night this ground will open and swallow them who is a man that attempts to speak when God has not spoken any family here that there doesn't seem to be joy it seems like sadness and pain every week every month is another episode of trouble you are hearing trouble from mama trouble from your dad in the name of Jesus I don't care how long those patterns are they let you go once and for all <laughs> hallelujah listen You'll be seated shortly when the the, la the lady who works in civil defense as she was giving her testimony she said something that struck my spirit she said my promotion came and it was backdated and that thing touched me you see the difference between progress and restoration is that in restoration you backdate Proge progress is just advancement but restoration we have to start not where you are where you were and then take you to where you need to be both progress and restoration my god will release it to your life tonight in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i believe in the power of god i believe in miracles don't ask how it will happen don't make the mary already helped us to answer that question how shall these things be luke chapter 1 and verse 34 seeing that i know not a man the angel already said it verse 35 this is always how it shall be the angel answered the holy ghost shall come upon you and the power of the highest shall overshadow you don't ask how will i be healed that's the answer the holy ghost shall come upon you and the power of the highest shall overshadow you how will i be delivered the holy ghost shall come upon you and the power of the highest shall overshadow you hallelujah listen the bible talks about a man called nehemiah he was the cup bearer of the king and one time the king loved him and saw his countenance he was downcast and the king said i am not sure you are sick but why are you downcast and he began to cry and said that the the wall of jerusalem had not been built and the king immediately said so what do you want to a cup bearer there are many of you today right now god has connected you to destiny helpers but there are certain kinds that you need to meet if you meet the kind that cannot help you um they will just comfort you but there is one strategic person if nehemiah consulted with his contemporaries they would just console him but as soon as he consulted with the king all the materials were given to him plus letters to the governors don't harass this man i pray for you the grace that will connect you to those who will lift you instantly may that grace rest upon you 
may that grace rest upon you one of the the areas that the lord told me in the place of prayer is to break the siege of untimely death you see this thing called untimely death don't wait till it happens to you there is a wicked spirit that is able to cut men short beyond their time using flimsy physical occurrences a bike just comes to hit the only breadwinner in a family and he dies don't tell me that is the plan of god no I know the thoughts that I think towards you, Jeremiah 29, 11. They are thoughts of peace and not of evil to bring you a future and an expected end. Are we together? So in one minute, I'd like you to pray. Please mention everything. I know you wrote it down, but I'd like you to pray because I'm about to begin to minister in the spirit. Father, I pray, let my faith be alive. Visit me in this area, in that area. Someone pray. Don't let the devil lie to you that God cannot do it. Even if it's a special miracle that disease can leave you and the spirit can give way. Someone pray. Someone pray. Outside, make sure you are praying. Don't be distracted. Someone pray. Tonight is my night. I place a demand on the power of God. For in Jesus name we pray. Now hear me, there are tens of thousands of people here and you don't have to be called as an individual, no. Let your faith reach by faith and you can receive right where you are. And for the many who are following online, just like the lady from Austria said, right where you are, the concept of time and distance is a scientific concept but as far as the realm of the spirit is concerned i mean even even there are dimensions of science that have told us that at certain realms the the idea of time and distance it's is something that is inconsequential you can pick up your phone right now and with one dial you reach somebody in the north pole somebody at the other side of it and it will go with one dial did the Bible not say the word of God is quick? Quick. Hallelujah. Do you know, behind many situations, ladies and gentlemen, behind many situations are spirits. What do you think these demonic spirits do on earth? Have you ever asked yourself, what do they do on earth that means if you gather them now and say all oh, unclean spirits what what do you do on earth already remember the story of Job. please sit down for one minute remember the story of Job. when he asked satan he said from whence comest thou he gave a very intelligent answer he says from going to and fro the earth not to and fro a region i'm going to start asking you to bring those under the anointing now i'm saying this to establish something because i want to rebuke these spirits 
to and fro the earth. That means as far as Satan is concerned, the earth is too small. There is no place he cannot cover. And he does that by the agency of these spirits. So they are everywhere. What is their assignment? Everything that is pro-God, pro-Christ, pro-advancement, pro-love, pro-peace is their assignment. Apostle, who did I trouble that this trouble is coming to me? No, that, that, is, that is just a traditional way of thinking. Provided you are alive and provided there is potential in your life to reveal Jesus, you have invited Satan into your life. Are we together? Jesus did not invite him to meet him in Matthew chapter 4. He only was fasting and building capacity for the journey ahead. And that act alone drew the attention of Satan. He patiently endured until the fasting was over. The Bible says in John chapter 10 and verse 10, the thief cometh not but for to steal, to kill and to destroy. I always read it this way. The thief does not come until there is something to steal, until there is something to kill, and until there is something to destroy. That means when Satan comes to your life, more than being someone who will attack you, he has come as a verification system that there is something in your life, even if you do not know it. Satan will never come to that family if there is nothing to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Setting people free from the influence of spirits is like destroying a tree by uprooting it. You're disconnecting it from the earth. Did you know that if you try to destroy a tree by plucking the leaves, you're only wasting your time? Once it is still connected to the earth where it can draw nourishment and water, it will spring back again. In fact, it can take what you are doing as pruning and grow back again. Is that true? So there are many of us who are dealing with our situations. You want to remove... The, the devil, look, look at me please. The devil walks like an octopus. You know how an octopus is? Different hands. He will touch your finances. Touch this one. Join the heads of others with the remaining hands. And you will think there are many spirits. It is one and the same operation. Visiting every aspect of your life. So sometimes solving them one by one may be a waste of time. That spirit that powers everything. Once you clear it out of the way. The Bible says all doors opened. How many doors? They didn't need all doors to be open to pass. But all doors open the same way you came here probably saying apostle let's deal with this issue of my finance but now you will not know that the same spirit is still programming trouble in another area just because it has not manifested remember the book of job the discussion finished in the realm of the spirit then the bible says there was a certain day that was the day of execution same thing with haman they already prepared the day that they will annihilate the jews it just had not happened yet so just because it has not happened physically does not mean the programming has not been done. The assignment of the anointing is to scan your life. The challenges that have manifested and the ones that are still on their way, it clears all of them. Are we together now? You don't have to wait for them to manifest before you deal with them. Anything that gets to this realm has already been concluded in the realm of the spirit. Spirits. For as long as I live, I would not spare any demonic spirit that I know is responsible for frustrating the saints. Uh -uh. Behind all these conditions, there are many people, what appears to you as infirmity is actually the spirit of poverty. Because by the time you are earning say 50,000 or 100,000 and you are spending 30% of it treating a demonic malaria that never goes, Another month, once you are done, as soon as you collect your, your salary, it graduates to typhoid, and then one kind of sickness that you don't understand, as soon as the money is done, the doctor says mysteriously, it looks like you are getting better. That is more than sickness. It is a wicked spirit. How about families where the devil will afflict one person and every other person in the family must suffer because of that affliction? Have you seen that kind of thing happen? We are going to pray. The devil is a liar. 
in the name of Jesus Christ and then for those who have been trusting God this see this our friend who came and gave testimony the lawyer it really touched me time does not change anything it takes an encounter with the anointing of the Holy Spirit this gentleman would have remained like that and wondered how will it be eight years Lord you've not helped me whereas he will be passing his destiny helper every day some of you your destiny helper is seated even close to you it's just that no destiny helper knows he's a destiny helper is prophecy that re, that that does that job because you are sitting down near a rich man or somebody who can connect you does not mean they will do that no is the realm of the spirit that creates that reaction many of you are angry at every successful man wicked uncle you are seeing me every day that's exactly how it was designed to work naturally he should not have any burden he can't take any burden for your destiny except and unless when that grace for favor is on you now he turns to be more than an uncle he now becomes a helper when uh, saul was on his way looking for his father's donkey don't you think he must have passed a lot of people on the way none of them blessed him but when he encountered samuel and that grace came he said you will meet three people and all of them are holding two loaf of bread they will greet you and give it to you hallelujah God desires that our joy be complete. That's why he grants us the opportunity to experience miracles in our lives. He truly wants, listen, if there is anything I know about God, is that God is love. Find a, look beyond what has happened or not happened in your life. Find a way of convincing yourself that the God of the Bible is a loving God. Are we together? When you have that mindset that God is love, immediately, your heart is open to believe him and to receive the one who loves you is the one who heals you the one who loves you is the one who lifts you the one who loves you is the one who restores he does everything he does because he loves us more than just demonstrating that he's almighty is because of love if god did everything he did to us simply because he was a mighty god then we would charge him for lack of love i hope you know god's love is higher than his power is that true mm. god's power submits to his love it is his love that even regulates his power god does not exalt his power above his love for god so loved the world not for god was powerful that he gave not for god was mighty his might is there but let me draw your mind tonight to the love of jesus when you understand that he loves you you will not allow the devil lie to you and say well apostle is speaking about certain special people i'm sitting somewhere outside in the overflow i don't even know how to speak english well my cloth is not even anything to write home about that is exactly the kind of people that love even looks for hallelujah praise the name of the Lord so beyond the shouting and the falling under the anointing beyond all of these things have it at the back of your mind that he loves you he loves you the message of God's love if understood will work wonders because there is something about not knowing and understanding the love of God that becomes the basis for accepting every nonsense the devil gives you are we together yes if you know that I love you then you can trust that there are some things I would not do. Is that true? The awareness of that love. If someone calls you and says, I am Joshua Selman, empty all your account into my, my um, uh, what now? Into my own account. That person is a fool and is a thief. Immediately you know that is a, that is a senseless, it's, it's an anti-Joshua Selman behavior. Are we together? So if, if you have that understanding, but if you suspect I do not love you, you can easily believe it. There are lies the devil has sold to us and we have believed it because the awareness of God's love. Do you know how far love can go? How far love can go? Power can go far, but not as far as love can go. 
are we together when power gets tired it is even love that carries it along jesus was powerful but there was a time power failed on the way to the cross is that true he could not carry the cross the ministry of power failed it took love for him to finish believe me when i tell you it is good to be conscious of god's power but higher and greater than that is the awareness of the love of jesus dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the phase of development lord grant me the discipline